Okay, so to do a radial array, fairly simple, straightforward task in Revit. Select the object that you want to array around a given arc, for example, and then go to, in the Modify panel, select the Array tool, and then in the contextual, or in the, um, not the contextual ribbon, but in the Options bar, make sure that you have the radial option selected, and then for the center of rotation, make sure you hit the place button here, as that will be the center of the uh, the rotation. So in this case, since I've got an arc, I'll go ahead and hit my SC button to get the center snap of that. And then you have an option of either moving it to the second, or basically choosing you know the the angles by selection here, or you can do a last and have everything fill in with a certain number, for example three. Well, in this case, I'll go ahead and specify 15 of these. Let's do that. So the second option basically allows you to place the second one. You basically choose the angle increment. The last option will basically fill in 15 uh, uh, and basically uh, in between the angle that you choose. All right. And then the angle, you can actually specify the angle that you want. I'll just use the second option. And then click 1. Here's number 2. So there's going to be 14 degrees between each of them. Here you can quickly adjust the amount that you go ahead and place, and maybe that's too many, so I'll go ahead and back down to 12. Click OK, and hit Modify. Okay, and you can group these together as well. Now, uh, l let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to take one of these, copy it, make sure it's ungrouped as well. And in LandCAD, there's a function here that gives you a little bit more flexibility when it comes to actually placing objects like these. I'll go ahead and place this desk. I'll rotate it. And this is a, a LandCAD function, but it works for its other Revit objects as long as they're set up correctly. So I'll go ahead and click on the LandCAD uh, tab here. I'm going to locate components. And here I'll go ahead and select the desk. Okay. And actually, I didn't need that desk there now that I think about it. And the component name, we'll just go ahead and choose this desk type. I'll go ahead and say I want those at every 20 feet. And I can go ahead and select, place along uh, the side of, or let's just place along the center of this line work. Line two, so basically the desk will rotate as it moves around that particular uh, arc, uh, series of lines as I place it. And then I'll go ahead and select this existing element, click it, and then I'll pick the starting side to be here. And then that's okay. That's just meaning that it won't have some auto features that we have with some of the other objects, but you can use that object. And I'll hit cancel, and basically that these desks then follow that arc. So anyway, you're an Eagle Voight customer. I thought you might want to be aware of that. And here, you know, you've got the out-of-the-box Revit tool that you can array as well. Okay?